designers, and welcome to Transformation Tuesday. you guys we did miss transformation Tuesday last week so it is time to get back to getting healthy this week I want to talk to you about a very important subject one that a lot of times we want to ignore and that is the subject of rest on our journey to a healthier lifestyle we must include the proper amount of rest that includes sleeping and it also includes times when you can just kick back and relax unfortunately here in america especially we are driven by work and by productivity and unfortunately that is not always the best thing for us health wise it's good to be productive it's good to be busy and it's good to be out there on the go accomplishing things but not to the sacrifice of the proper amount of rest that your body needs there are so many good things that happen in our bodies while we are sleeping it's the time when our bodies kind of clean house and take care of things when it can repair itself like torn muscles and strained ligaments and it's also the time when the brain activates certain types of chemicals and hormones that actually detoxify all of those cells so naturally you can imagine without the proper amount of sleep our bodies are not cleaning house the way that they should it's very important to take note of exactly what happens to our bodies when we're sleeping do you know that our pulse rate drops our blood pressure drops our temperatures drop <laughs> so many things drop and go into slow motion, so to speak, really to give the body time to rejuvenate and heal itself. There are actually some things that happen on the cellular level where new cells are even created, and that provides optimum health. There are also a few chemicals that when we don't sleep enough, stay active in our bodies too long that actually increase our appetite and our cravings for sugar and starchy food. So it's absolutely true that by restructuring the amount of sleep and rest that we get, we can actually lower those kind of hormones that are running around in our bloodstream and decrease the cravings for sugar and high starch foods that tend to lead to weight gain. So yes, it has been noted that a lack of proper sleep lends to increased weight and that is one thing that some of us involved with Transformation Tuesday is trying to get up under control. Another thing that it is important to note is that you need complete darkness when you sleep. A lot of people love to go to sleep with night lights just to enable themselves to see a little bit if they should have to get up during the middle of the night. But do you know that your body has a tremendous and amazing way to work with your eyes for dilation and all that kind of stuff to help you see in the dark exactly what you need to see. And if you will give your eyes just a little bit of time to adjust, you will be able to move around during the night should you have to get up. It has been proven that the more light that is coming in, whether through computer screens, the lights on your telephones, or little night lights that you sit beside your bed or plug into a wall, prohibit certain hormones from being produced and they actually increase other hormones that typically are produced by the brain when the light comes up. So I want to encourage you, if you're used to sleeping with those night lights, cut them off and sleep in complete darkness. And as a side note to that, might I add that some of our law enforcement have even released studies that show that sleeping in a completely darkened house is actually beneficial to homeowners because you already know the layout of your home and should you have to stumble around during the night because of an intruder you're going to have the upper hand they don't know the layout of your house and should they make their way inside they're going to be knocking into things and framing into things 
that you would never cram into because you know where they're located. So there's a little bit of a bonus there as well. Now the amount of sleep that you need every day really depends on a few factors. You can do some research online and find the optimal number of hours that are suggested for someone in your age range. Hitting around the age of 18 up until around the age of 64, the human body needs about seven to nine hours of sleep a night in order to maintain optimum health. That is consecutive hours not collective hours during the day. So if you're only sleeping three or four hours at night and then try to nap during the day, that is definitely not as good for you as if you can get all of those seven to nine hours in in one lump sum. If you are 65 or older, then that can drop to a need of seven to eight hours of sleep. And of course, if you're younger than the age of 17, then you need just a few more hours. Up to 10 can be optimal for you. Once again, you need to listen to your body though. Your body will tell you if you are needing a little more sleep. You can tell by the number of bags under those eyes and other things that can tend to happen when there is some sleep deprivation. So listen to your body and squeeze in more of those hours if you can. It really is better to put off some of your chores and activities to another day than to wear yourself down because chances are if you're running on that little of fuel for your body, then you're not going to be doing as great of a job on those chores anyway. Not nearly like you would if you were in optimal health and all rested up. I want to leave you with one final thought. Do you know that whenever God created the body, he knew the importance of sleep? And it's no coincidence that at nighttime, it's pretty dark. Let's <laughs> take a look around. Back whenever mankind was first created, there was not all of this electricity to keep people up 24 hours a day. And when the sun went down, people went to bed. And when the sun came up, people got up. And there was a reason for that. God also thought it important enough for this rest principle that he even built it into the Ten Commandments that one day a week, mankind should take the day off just to rest and relax and to focus on him. So a lot of us are guilty about forgetting that Sabbath principle and we are guilty of not taking our one day a week for rest, but it is absolutely important. After all, if the maker of this body thought that the instructions were necessary to command one day of shut off, then I think it's important enough that we listen to that. So also try to begin incorporating into your week one day of total rest. Do a hobby that you enjoy doing, something that really refreshes you and brings you some restful downtime and stop all this striving for 24 hours, seven days a week. Although that may seem to be praised in our culture, it's not actually a good thing overall in the long run. And listen, we need you here for as long as you possibly can be here. We don't need you checking out of this earth any sooner than you have to. So let's begin to take care of our bodies in a little bit better way. Sleep a little longer at night. Get a little more downtime rest during the evening hours before you head off to bed. And try to get in one day a week where you can just have some downtime. Thank you so very much for tuning into this Transformation Tuesday. Together, we are on a journey to health. I'll see you soon in the next video.